All right, guys, today we're going to talk about how deer grow antlers on different parts of their body. So let's get into it. So basically, to sound smarter than I am, I'm going to use some big boy words. So unlike horns, antlers are mostly made of phosphorus and calcium and are also deciduous, which just basically means the antlers drop or shed and they grow a new set next year. And I'm not sure why they use big words like that, I guess just to sound more photosynthesis. But with that being said, the antlers grow from the pedicle, which is located on the frontal bone of the skull. And the skin or tissue on top of the pedicle actually reacts with hormones which causes the antler to grow. But that still leaves the question, how do antlers grow on different parts of their body? Well, a good example of this would be the Dave Stuckey buck. At first glance, you would think this buck got into an altercation and got a tine snapped off in its face. But that's not the case. You see the tissue or the cells that we were talking about earlier on the top of the pedicle, that's the key. So basically some of the cells that were on top of the pedicle got somehow moved down under the eye and that's how that antler got there. 